pictures are chilling. Three people casually walk to the corner of 52nd and Damon near carrying guns. In moments, they all open fire down the street. They fire nearly 20 shots, all apparently in the direction of a family gathering next to a house several hundred feet down the street. What's going on, y'all? They're saying another body has been recovered out of the lake. So, body removed from Lake Michigan at North Avenue Beach, y'all. This is in Lincoln Park on North Lake Shore Drive. What's going on? It's my life. The shot. I'm your host, Donald Washington. That first video is what you're going to see on 52nd and Damon. A nine-year-old baby girl has been shot and she is pronounced on the scene. Her name is Ariana Moline on the 50, 52nd and Damon where 11 people were shot, three of them being children at a family gathering, over 20 shots. Y'all can see them idiots with two guns, some of them with switches and they just blasting at the whole family gathering. I'm going to bring you guys this. I want to also bring you guys that in 2022, Y'all understand 16 bodies in that year alone was recovered out of the lakes, right? All over the state. And nobody caught. Just body after body after body washing up. I called it the Chicago Dexter, all right? Another body has just been recovered last week and they're not releasing the identity. I think that's because the identity it has to go through an autopsy that they're not able to identify it with fingerprints. It's been a week and I've been waiting on this identity. So that body, I think, was probably from this year. It was more than 16, I believe, sparking. Everybody was like, wait a minute. And this was at the, um, this was mainstream media that posted this. All right. I'm going to also bring you guys this Joliet man was found. I don't know if this is related. They're saying that there was no foul play in this Joliet man that was washed up out of that river, but he was recovered. Um, his name is Robert Long out of Joliet. And they're saying it wasn't any foul play. There, there was a missing report. I will get to that in a minute, but you know, bodies being recovered also. I brought you guys the Chicago Highway Sniper from 2000 to 2022 is over 320 some odd highway shootings where only about three or four was road rage. The rest of them, no suspect, no motive, no clue. Last month of March, there was three people shot on the highways, I-57 and the Dan Ryan. Three people shot and pronounced on the highways. No suspect, no motive, no clue. They also comb those highways for shell cases. If it's road rage, you got to put your gun out the window, ride up on the person, and shoot. There's going to be shell cases everywhere. They shut down the highways on both sides, found nothing from what I understand so far. I didn't hear anything yet. No arrests made. I haven't heard anything. Suspect, no motive, no clue. Three people last year, last month. Now, there was one road rage, and that person was caught right away. Why? Because people in the car saw that person. People behind them saw him. That person had to try to get away, and he was caught within minutes. It's, road rage is such an easy open and shut because everybody got cell phones. All right, let's get to this. Three children. Three children. A one-year-old boy, eight-year-old boy, and a nine-year-old boy, and seven other adults shot. This was April 13th. I'm going to show you the news article and the lack of just empathy. This is why I, if, if I'm chief of police, y'all would hate me. Mayor, governor, y'all would hate me. I would get these guns up off the streets. We let cats walk around our neighborhood. I just drove past a young cat. In fact, I was getting gas. Young cat was across the street coming out the gas station, ski masked up, hoodie, and he in there casually shopping in the gas station, comes out and walks up the street. I think that should be illegal. The pictures are chilling. Three people casually walk to the corner of 52nd and Damon. They are carrying guns. In moments, they all open fire down the street. They fire nearly 20 shots, all apparently in the direction of a family gathering next to a house several hundred feet down the street. 
One shot shatters the window of a car parked on the street. Another hits a house. Bullets also strike 11 people at the party, including nine-year-old Ariana Molina, who later died. One of the final gunshots hits a street light, darkening the area. Five minutes later, an ambulance arrives at the scene. Several more emergency vehicles would arrive shortly afterward. It has been a heartbreaking time for relatives who were having a family celebration when the gunfire broke out. The video suggests the shooters were not in a vehicle, but simply walked up. Among the other victims, one-year-old Aaron and seven-year-old Isaiah V. Hill Mendez were shot and critically injured. I, never, I didn't know if they were going to survive or they were going to be gone forever. Those kids are critically injured. These idiots just sprayed an entire party. No, no care for anything. Risking the lives of everyone there. 11 people shot. I would give them the chair. You hear me? They would get the chair. I would give them no mercy. You showed that family no mercy. Very soon. They need to be where they deserve to be in prison for the rest of their lives. For what they did to Ariana and what they did to my kids what they did to everybody else that got wounded. Chicago police say they're continuing their investigation. So far, no one is in custody. They're encouraging any witnesses or anyone with information to come forward. Watch breaking. This is when communities should band together. Kids should be absolutely off limits. Elderly should be absolutely off limits. Spraying the whole block up. If we want to take back our community, it has to start in our community. It has to start with us. We can't magically fold our way out this mess like we think we could do. We have to put our foot down and say enough is enough. I will come back to that. I want to get to this. Body wash stuff. And nothing, no nothing. Um, this was th this was in 2022. This article right here: the remains of 10 men and six women pulled from the Chicago River in Lake Michigan since the beginning of last year. This was 2022. Patterns have noticed the bodies have piled up, with five men bodies recovered, and in the last six months. This was in 2000. Uh, this article was written in 2023, and it was talking about 22. There's too many coincidences, somebody said. CIA and FBI was on that case. That's the same thing I was telling you guys about the Chicago Highway Snipe is what I called them. 320 highway shootings where people were shot. A lot of them pronounced. And do y'all understand no suspect, no motive, no clue? Everybody's just gangbangers, gangbangers on the highway. Do you know the odds of seeing your op on the highway? We are just so naive. We just think that, oh, six, 10 bodies, oh, 15 bodies, 16 bodies, and bodies are still just washing up, washing up, washing up. And we're like, ah, I'm calling this the Chicago Dexter. Somebody said they think it's a serial killer. Pointing out the cases of accidental drowning bodies recovered far from the victims reported missing. Short periods, a lot of them was coming for parties and whatnot. All of a sudden, whoop, go missing. Pull right up from the lake. Speaking of uh, found in the lake, this young man right here, I don't know. Most of these was in Lake Michigan and Chicago rivers. However, this is one pulled out a river. This was in Joliet. He was reported missing. Um, last seen April 11th, around 9 to 10 p.m. in Joliet. He's wearing a gray jacket white t-shirt blue jeans and um they put out that missing report of him april 13th all right police ended up finding him he was reported missing on april 13th uh they let out an emotional plea around 10 47 p.m jo joliet fire department was utilized a boat and drone when they recovered a male's body on the east side of the river it was the south side uh, the body Brought to the shore on the 700 block of Railroad Street. Um, in this, they have nobody, have no suspects as of yet. They don't know what happened. However, they're saying no signs of foul play. So, which makes this very difficult. 
What happened to him? Is that related? I don't know. But it's very interesting and something I'm going to keep an eye on. Everybody, every highway shooting, everybody that's pulled out of the lake and in all of them, no suspect, no motive, no clue. I'm watching it. And as of you guys should too. All right. Expressway shootings. I brought you guys last month. Why I brought up the Chicago Highway Sniper? Because last month, guess what? Three men were shot on the highways. No suspect, no motive, no clue. Just out the blue, boom, shot. Pronounced. All three of them. And no suspect, no motive. Family men. No gangbangers. Was it road rage? I don't think so. Because, let me tell you something, I go to the range, in order to hit a moving target, you know how hard that is? Very hard. You know how to ride up on nobody and nobody sees you? No suspect, no motor, and not to have shell cases pop out? Impossible. What's the odds of that? So, three men last month, already this month, on the Dan Ryan, about 11 p.m. on Friday, they shot... Uh, fire shots fired on expressway. Um, what man pronounced about 3:44 a.m. Saturday. What this was about, I don't know. The identity of the person is unknown as of yet. They were supposed to have uh, cameras on the highways. I don't know what happened to that, but this is happening way too often, and now it's another pattern going on. Three people last month. One person pronounced this month. I will keep an eye on it. Back in 2019, 20, and 21, it was sometimes three a day. Um, sometimes three or four a week. It was often. And there was sometimes four people in a car and nobody saw nothing. Do y'all understand in the DC sniper that somebody had to, uh, a trunk popped open and they were sniping people? In road rage, there was four guys on the highway going north on I-57. And y'all know there was just a shot and hit the driver and out of everybody in the car, four people in the car, nobody saw nothing. It wasn't any road rage. There was a lady. There was even a, a school teacher from Orland Park that was shot. And people were trying to tell me, gangbangers. Nah, just gangbangers. 340, all oh, road rage and gangbangers. I lived in an apartment building and I never saw my neighbors ever, like once a year. So the odds that you see in your ops on the highway are slim to none. And the odds of you getting up on your ops, slim to none. Odds of you shooting with no shell cases, impossible. The odds of nobody seeing you, close to impossible. The odds of four people in a car and no gangbangers being shot, just working people on their way to work. School teachers, a postal worker, women in their 50s. Y'all want to tell me they gangbangers too? So I bring that back up. Tell y'all, there's something very, with the, with the bodies washing up and highway shootings, something is, 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 is very strange. And I didn't get this just out the clear blue sky. Somebody wrote me and said, hey, our uncle is a state police officer, and here's what it is. They think it's a serial shooter on the highways back then. Anyway, appreciate everybody sending me stories. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. Peace, y'all. City on fire. Ooh, down to the wire. Smile life in the shine. Ooh, it's my life in the shine